There are three specialty craft fills in the software. These include blackwork, candle wicking, and lace work fills. Blackwork fills use simple stitches that create more complex scrolling or geometric patterns. Candle wicking uses a series of stitches that form a knot, while lace work forms an open square trellis-like pattern that gives an object a lacy look. The lace fill is not a freestanding lace and must be supported by fabric. To change from the default fill for each of these types, select the object and open Object Properties. Click on Select. If you wish to view the stitches in actual stitches, click on Show True View and you'll see all the different patterns that are available for black work. To change the stitch, select the stitch and click Apply, and the object has been updated with the new stitch. You'll see that you can change the size, the rotation angle, the column spacing, the row spacing, and the offset of the black work fill. For candle wicking, again, click on the Select button, and you have four different types of knots that you can apply. Select the one you wish to choose and click on Apply, and the pattern is updated. Select the lace, click on Select, and there are five different lace patterns that can be chosen. Select the lace that you wish to use. You can see that you can change the size, the rotation angle, the column spacing, the row spacing, and the offset. Once again, changes that you make in any of these boxes will update on the preview. After making your choices, click on Apply. For any of these types of stitches, you can choose to alter the pattern through the layout function, move the pattern away from the fill to make it easier to make the changes. You can increase the size, you can change the row spacing as well as the column spacing and offset. When you press enter, the change is made to the pattern. There are almost limitless possibilities for these patterns.